Welcome to the spoken tutorial on working with 3D objects in LibreOffice Draw. In this tutorial, we will learn to convert 2D objects to 3D using extrusion, insert 3D shapes into a draw page, convert 2D shapes to 3D using the 3D rotation object option, apply 3D effects to objects, create special effects using duplicate and crossfading. To practice this tutorial, you should have basic knowledge of LibreOffice Draw. If not, for relevant draw tutorials, please visit this website. This tutorial is recorded using Ubuntu Linux OS version 18.04 and LibreOffice Suite version 6.3.5. Let us draw a geometry chart that shows a 2D shape and its equivalent 3D form. For example, a square is a 2D object and a cube is its 3D form. Open a new draw file. We will name the file as 3D objects chart and save it on the desktop. Draw a text box at the top of the page. Type the text geometric shapes in 2D and 3D inside the box. Press Ctrl A keys to select the entire text. In the sidebar deck, click on the properties icon. Increase the font size to 22 as shown. Let us align the text to the center of the text box using the Align Center icon. Close the sidebar deck. On the standard toolbar, click on Align icon and then on Centered. Click anywhere else on the page to deselect the text box. Let us now divide the page into two vertical halves using a snap line. Click on the vertical ruler to see the two-sided arrow. Drag the snap line to the center of the page to divide it into two halves approximately. Let us insert a text box on the left side of the drop page. Type 2D shapes inside it. Select the text 2D shapes. Align the text to the center of the text box. Let us draw another text box on the right side. Type 3D shapes inside it. Select the text 3D shapes. Align the text to the center of the text box. Now we will enable the 3D settings. From the main menu, click on view, select toolbars and 3D settings. 3D settings toolbox is displayed at the rightmost end of the standard toolbar. You can drag and place it in a convenient location on the standard toolbar. In some versions of draw, you may not be able to do so. First, we will draw some 2D shapes on the left of the snap line. The method of obtaining a 3D object using a 2D object is called extrusion. Basically, the surface is moved outward to create the 3D object. Draw a rectangle a square, a circle and a triangle one below the other. Let us select the objects as shown. Let us align the objects to the center using the centered option. Now we will change the color of all the objects. Click on the fill color drop down and select light red 4. Next let's copy and paste the objects by pressing Ctrl C and Ctrl V keys. Let us drag the copied objects and place them on the right half of the page. Click anywhere else on the page to deselect the objects. Now select the copied rectangle and right click for the context menu. Click on convert and then select to 3D. The 2D rectangle is converted to a cuboid. Similarly, convert the copied square, circle and triangle into 3D objects. Let us type rectangle inside the rectangle shape on the left. Similarly, type square, circle and triangle in the corresponding objects. However, we cannot type any text on 3D objects. 
to type text, we will need to use the text tool. Click on the insert text box icon and draw a text box inside the cuboid. Type the text cuboid inside it. The text box and the cuboid are treated as two separate objects. So let's group the text and the corresponding object. Similarly, draw text boxes for the other 3D objects. Then type cube, cylinder and pyramid inside the corresponding objects. Let us group the objects as shown before. So we have learned to use the extrusion method to create 3D objects from 2D objects. Pause this tutorial and do this assignment. Add a new page to your draw file. Draw a square and type the text square inside it. Convert the square with the text to 3D. Compare the 3D object text with the 2D square text. Your completed assignment should look like this. Draw provides a list of ready-made 3D shapes for direct use in a drawing. We can insert 3D shapes using the 3D objects in the drawing toolbar. Alternatively, click on View, Select Toolbars and 3D Objects. Let us insert a new page in our draw file. Select a shape from the 3D Objects toolbar. Say a cone. Then draw it on the page. We have a 3D cone in gradient color on our page. Draw also allows us to create 3D objects using body rotation on 2D objects. Let us draw a triangle on the draw page as shown. Right click for the context menu and select convert. Then choose to 3D rotation object. Observe what happens to the triangle. It is now a 3D object. Shape of the 3D object may vary a little depending on the drawn 2D object. Next click on the font work icon on the standard toolbar. The font work gallery dialog box opens up. If not visible, then click on view, toolbars and font work. Then click on the font work icon at the bottom left corner of the draw page. The font work gallery dialog box opens up. Let us select favorite 16 and then click on the OK button. The text font work is displayed on the drop page. The visible text may vary for different system configurations. Now we may want some other text in place of font work. How can we do that? Simply double click inside the text font work. We will see the word font work in black color within the larger text. Select this text and type another text, for example, Spoken Tutorials. Now click anywhere on the drop page. The words Spoken Tutorials will now be displayed on the page. Let us resize this text for better readability. Now let's learn to apply effects to the 3D cone. Select the cone, right click for the context menu and select 3D effects. The 3D effects dialog box appears. We can see various options here. Let us change the depth parameter to 3 cm. Under segment, let us change horizontal to 12. Under normals, let us select the flat option. Observe the preview of the object in its preview window at the bottom. Now click on the assign icon at the top right corner of the dialog box. Then click on the cross icon at the top right corner to exit the dialog box. Observe the effects on the cone. Here is another assignment for you. Create a similar picture as shown on the slide. Use the convert to 3D rotation object option to achieve this. Next let us create special effects using duplicate option. Let us insert a new page. Let us draw a rounded rectangle on the draw page. Select the rounded rectangle tool and draw the shape on the draw page. From the main menu, 
select shape and click on duplicate. The duplicate dialog box appears. We will enter the following values. Number of copies is equal to 10 and a placement x axis is equal to 0 0.10. Y axis is equal to 0 0.20. Angle is equal to 5 degrees. We will keep the enlargement values as default. Width is equal to 0 0.20 and height is equal to 0 0.30. Now we will change the start color to yellow and end color to red. Click on the OK button. Look at the great special effects that we got. You can try many more effects by changing the angles and other values. Now let's create special effects using crossfading. We need two objects to create a crossfading effect. Let us draw a diamond and an ellipse using insert basic shapes. Let us change the color of the diamond to red and the ellipse to green. Select both the shapes. From the main menu, select shape and go to crossfading. The crossfading dialog box opens. In the box, a default value is seen in the increments field. We can change this to any other value, say 20. Leave the boxes checked for now. Then click on the OK button in the box. Observe the effect of crossfading on the objects. Undo the changes by pressing Ctrl and Z keys. Select both the shapes once again. From the main menu, select Shape and go to Crossfading. Uncheck the checkboxes and observe the differences on the drop page. Let us save all these changes and then close the file. This brings us to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we have learned to Convert 2D objects to 3D using extrusion Insert 3D shapes into a drop page Convert 2D shapes to 3D using the 3D rotation object option Apply 3D effects to objects Create special effects using duplicate and crossfading Here is an assignment for you Draw various shapes and try duplicate and crossfading options using them. The video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project. Please download and watch it. We conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates. For more details, please contact us. Please post your timed queries in this forum. The Spoken Tutorial Project is funded by the Ministry of Education, Government of India. This tutorial was originally contributed by Desicru Solutions Private Limited in 2011. This tutorial is contributed by Nikita Misal and Madhuri Ganpati from IIT Bombay. Thank you for watching.